Salutations, friends and strangers of the interwebs. Welcome back to the channel, Stevie Wonder Woman. I am said Stevie. Uh, mail call Monday. I have uh, some packages that have arrived. Uh, some arrived uh, today. It's now Monday. Uh, it's Tuesday. Mail call Tuesday. Holy crap. Uh, oh boy. Okay. That's hysterical. I don't know why. Mail call Tuesday. I got some packages in yesterday, Monday, and um, I got actually a couple over the weekend that I haven't got to open yet. So let's just proceed. Um, I knew it was uh, a Tuesday. That's weird because it being Tuesday and I carry theme, I am carrying uh, Titanium Tanto for Tuesday, uh, the Arcane Design Necronauts V2. This is what I'm toting around today. The uh, very first thing I would like to open is... I've been uh, really looking forward to getting this. Um, anytime I can support uh, a brother in the community, or sister in the community for that matter, I'm going to. And um, one of the uh, douches in the Eliza douche crew, uh, douche number four, great Chris Grady of Grady's Gear, has got some t-shirts going on Teespring, and I ordered one. And so I finally got this in. So I'm going to pause and uh, put it on, actually. All right, so here it is. Woohoo! Dope. Very uh, excited to have added this to the uh, ever expanding uh, t shirt collection that I have going on. But um, it is a nice shirt. I dig it. I uh, can't wait to uh, wear it around town. Uh, next, um, this is actually a package that I. I had started to open up and um, stopped, figured I'd add it to the video, but this has already uh, been sliced open. Um, this is a new bottle of Heathen Grease that I got uh, because I ran out. You may have already seen my um, uh, full review of uh, Heathen Grease. I actually still have the bottle still sitting on my desk, so uh, looks like we got a little bit of a uh, label change there. This is the uh, new one. Yeah. Focus. There you go. Um, this is Lemon Scent. I haven't uh, actually opened it up yet. Um, that is the right amount of uh, scent, in my opinion. Uh, it's not overpowering uh, but you can still, it's still prominent. So, um, it's lemon. Again, let's check the consistency. Looks to be on par with what it was before. Let me get some rocket into the beard, even though I do have a little bit already in. How are we looking there, folks? All right. Very nice. Uh, I'll put a link to uh, Heathen Grease, uh, the Facebook group, if you're interested in getting some. Um, you can contact Austin through uh, Facebook and, uh, yeah, get some awesome heathen grease. Next, I think someone's at the door. Hold on. No one was at the door. I feel like I'm now just setting myself up uh, to do moronic shit during my videos. Um... My cell phone text message alerts is a knock, knock, knock. The old Galaxy S3 knock, knock, knock. If any of you guys remember that. I got a text message. I got a text message from Gons. That's who it was. There was no one at the door. Moving on. Um, this is from... Oh, yeah, this is from uh, Target Sports uh, USA. 
I am, uh, they are who I get all my, um, ammunition from. They are a great, uh, company. Um, I haven't had to order any ammo for a long time, thank God, because prices are still through the roof. Good news is, uh, it's more readily available, but we're still playing, paying extremely high inflated prices. I haven't had to buy ammo in the last year, um, at all. I had enough, uh, stocked up, uh, luckily. Um, and I, I, I shoot a lot, but, um, I am part of Target Sport USA's, um, reward program. And so, uh, this is, I guess, what I get for my last year purchases, even though, again, I didn't place any purchases. Maybe I did. Ah, I don't know. Either way, um, this is a, uh, Hoppy's pistol cleaning kit. That's cool. Um, I can never have too much, uh, cleaning, uh, uh, stuff, supplies. So, uh, looks like this is a, um, uh, cleaning rod, uh, with, um, a couple of different bore brushes. Uh, got some, uh, cleaning patches. A new bottle of, uh, Hoppy's, uh, number nine, uh, uh, bore cleaner. And then a bottle of, uh, lubrication. So, Cool. That'll come into use. If you saw my um, Sunday Gun Day vlog uh, from a couple days ago, um, you will know, uh, you, you'll see me um, out actively um, participating in some pew-pew. Uh, and uh, I shot probably, I don't know, I shot a lot of rounds, uh, a lot of 9mm through my M&P uh, pistol and my... Um, uh, my AR-9. So, uh, they are nice and dirty and need to get cleaned. So, that'll come in handy. Next. This is... I started to slice into this also. And then I was... Stop. So, I know what this is. This comes from our brother, uh, Mateo. Uh, he is the purveyor of... Am I using that word right? Purveyor? He's the owner and a maker of the finest jerky around, M-Bomb. And if you see on this, it says Triple X Hot. And it's just one chip, one jerky chip. That's because uh, we are trying to organize a... Uh, okay, so DTOM, uh, Kyle, I believe, uh, has eaten one of these live on his channel a while ago. I think it might have been during a On the Edge or something. Um, uh, and then, uh, recently, Mattis Faction also ate one of these on, uh, one of his lives. He didn't have any problems with it. He took it like a champ, was able to eat the entire thing, no problem. Um, didn't complain about it for, uh, several days to follow at all. Um, didn't whine about how, uh, hot it was. He, again, he, he, he wants more. No. Uh, Batisfaction, uh, said that shit was hot as hell. But, um, I don't remember who, maybe it was me, maybe it was someone else. Uh, we started, uh, kicking around the idea of doing a, uh, a bigger one chip challenge, one, uh, uh, jerky chip challenge. Um, I believe Mateo has used all sorts of ghost peppers, Cal Carolina Reapers. I don't know, man. He put his... This is hot shit, but I think the idea is to get on a live stream with a bunch of people and uh, figure out uh, the challenge. I don't know what that is going to entail yet. I know uh, right now um, Gons is in, uh, Budget Guy uh, for Knife and Tools is in. Um, I don't know if Madisfaction is going to do it or not. Uh, <clears throat> was, um, uh, who else? Um... I don't remember who else. Uh, oh, I think uh, um, Cue Ball is down. I think we're going to try to figure out uh, a way for Pocket Metal to uh, participate. Um, he don't do the cow, but he does, um, you know, might, maybe Mateo might make him a green chili chip or something. Um, anyway, we're trying to figure that out behind uh, the scenes and then figure out who's going to host the live, have us all on there, and... You can all watch us um, kill ourselves eating one of Macheo's, Macheo's, 
one of Mateo's extremely hot uh, M-Bomb uh, jerky chips. So, more to come on that. Um, last but not least, uh, this is a knife that um, I got from the Apex Passaround group, uh, which is ran by... Uh, um, this does include some tactical peanuts, but I don't think I'm going to have to mess with those. Uh, the Apex Passaround Group is, um, literally just that, uh, Passaround Group. So, uh, knives get donated by different makers. There's a bunch of different, uh, content creators in the Apex Passaround Group. And, um, it's ran by David, uh, uh, uh Blade Banter. So, um... This also happens to be from David uh, at, over at Blade Banter. This is the um, Orion Knives Solaris. So I've been uh, very intrigued by this knife for a while. Um, you can see uh, this comes in a, a slide to open box there uh, with the uh, Orion logo. Um, I'll do more of, I'm, I'm going to do a, uh, overall, um, kind of review on this knife here, uh, soon. This is just kind of my first impressions. Um, so I'll get into, uh, kind of the story behind the name and, uh, whatnot. Um, so there's some other little things in the box here. Uh, I'm not going to get into that, but yeah, this is a, uh, push button uh or push button this is a, a flipper thumb stud button lock boom look at that this is the uh black washed uh version with the uh blue pivot collar and blue backspacer i know that there are options to uh change out the uh, backspacer and the uh, pivot collar with different colors i think it looks really cool in this colorway right here uh, you got the nice Orion uh, logo on the uh, show side of the blade. And on the back side of the blade, uh, you see uh, the steel marking, which is 14C28N. So, um, deployed just fine with the flipper. Boom. Button lock. The action on this is phenomenal. Can I reverse flick it? I can. Why is it called... Re Why do we say reverse flicking? I want to say, I mean, I say either reverse flick or middle finger flick. It's a middle finger flick. Why do some people call it reverse flicking? What's reverse about that? I don't know. I'm not the only one that says that, though, right? But every time I say reverse flick, I'm like, that's not right. Um, and obviously, so it's got studs on it, thumb studs. So you can uh, use thumb stud to deploy. You can middle finger flick it using the uh, studs. And then it's got a flipper. Um... First impressions out of the gate, uh, this is a great knife. Ergo, look at that choil there. You got a nice, nice, very generous uh, forward choil on this that doesn't um, take away from the blade just by design there. Um, now, I don't know that this is the V2, but there, uh, this is the second generation of this, I believe. There are some slight changes. Um, I'll cover that more in the upcoming video, but first impressions of this knife is, uh, I like it for a, I've been checking out a lot of button locks lately. Um, I've had the, uh, uh, the Hoback, uh, Sumo. I've had the Max Ace Babylon. I, of course, got my, uh, Mordax and Malibu. And now I have the, uh, Orion, uh, Knives, uh, Solaris. Digging it. Digging it for sure. I know that um, Gary, uh, the Last Ranger, recently uh, had this as well. I think this, uh, who'd this come from? Uh, this came uh, from uh, Tier 1 Gear, so I'm sure he has his video up on it already. Um, so I think uh, I will probably want to be the last people to actually put a video up on it. But I am looking forward to spending some time with this knife and uh, letting you guys know what my thoughts are on it. That's it. That is my not Monday, but Tuesday mail call for you guys. Appreciate everyone uh, tuning in. Any final uh, words, Steve? 
I don't think so. I don't think so. I think that's it. All right, everybody. Um, until the next one, deuces.